All right, guys, so we've got a mix of good and bad news to talk about today. Good stuff for the Mac, bad stuff for the iPhone. But let's start off with the Mac Mini, MacBook Pro updates because I just feel like we've been waiting on those forever. See, initially new Macs were rumored to drop sometime in October and then that got pushed to November. And now, well, it's essentially 2023, it's almost January and they're still not here. So where are the new Macs? Well, we just got evidence that they're finally real and they're actually coming sooner rather than later. In a Steam survey, survey, yes, Steam, the Windows gaming platform where you buy games. Uh, I, just stay with me, I know this is weird. Every so often the Steam platform releases a survey talking about the devices that are downloading games. And on this list, very interestingly, were two new Macs that are not currently available. Mac 14,6 and Mac 15,4, as you can see here. Which, after cross-checking those with existing Mac models, don't exist. Mac 15,4 and 14,6 are not real computer jet. Apple has never released those models. So to see them here, well, it's really interesting for a couple of reasons. Number one, why are these being tested with Steam if they are currently unreleased? Like of all the places in the world where these models could leak out, it's gonna be through a gaming app store when Macs, I mean, I do have to say the quiet part out loud, Macs can't really play games. Hey, I just find that part really interesting. The second reason though, is that with these popping up in a database like this, it means that Apple is actively ramping up testing, which suggest that these are gonna be dropping sooner rather than later. And Steam isn't the only place to suggest these are actually coming somewhat soon. According to a new report from Mark Gurman, Apple is planning updates to both the Mac Mini with M2 and M2 Pro chips and the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro with M2 Pro and M2 Max chips sometime in early 2023, which could be anytime hypothetically from January 1st up until the end of the first quarter, so like March 31st. But if we look what Apple does historically, they almost always drop new products in March whether it's a press release or a whole event. So that's the most realistic timeline is them coming in March. But considering German's wording here and also the fact that they're popping up in the Steam database, I, I could see Apple dropping something maybe in February of just a little press release of new MacBook Pros to get them out the door finally. Because, well, the upgrades along with the Mac Mini aren't gonna be that significant. In fact, for both the MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini, we're hearing it's just gonna be a spec bump, meaning only the chips are changing. The actual design of the Mac Mini, which is, is still based on Intel and the design of the newly upgraded MacBook Pros, those are going to still be the same post upgrade. And based on some leaked benchmarks for the M2 Max chip specifically, it seems like it will not be as big of an upgrade as we thought. It definitely appears to still be worth waiting for, but it's not gonna be a 50% jump or something, just a nice moderate generation over generation upgrade, which is fine. And what's not coming soon at all apparently now is the iPhone SE 4, which if it doesn't ring a bell, this was going to be the next Next generation version of Apple's cheapest iPhone. Honestly, this might be my first time talking about the SE4, which is ironic because it's no longer happening, according to a fresh tweet from Guo Min Chi, who says Apple has either indefinitely delayed or ultimately canceled the project. Now, Apple's plans for the device were apparently to upgrade it to a full screen design with a 6.1 inch LCD screen, a notch, possibly face ID, better cameras, essentially carbon copy the iPhone XR now that that design had been out for about five or six years. Which sounded amazing and great and a really good value if Apple would be selling that between four and five hundred dollars. In fact, I think that design would do incredibly well because it's a pretty big screen for a somewhat low price. But now Apple's canceled it for apparently two reasons. Number one, apparently in general the sales for Apple's low to mid-end iPhones have not done that well, talking about the SE3 to the iPhone 13 mini or even the iPhone 14 plus. And number two, the cost to make this phone is apparently just still too high for Apple to make the margin that they need. Which I get because companies got to make money. I'm just salty because does this mean that we are going to be stuck with this iPhone 6 style design for another two years? Please God, please do not make me cover this design for another two years because it means I will have been talking about iPhones that look like this for over a decade. This is a 2014 when it came out and I just don't really want to do that. I don't know if I have the mental fortitude to make it and I don't know if, if the channel will make it if they keep making the same phone look the same. Listen, I was shocked earlier this year in 2022 when Apple dropped the third generation iPhone SE, which looked the exact same as the iPhone SE 2, but with a faster chip inside. I think what I'm trying to say is that nothing about this story or the iPhone SE in general right now makes any sense to me because it's a super outdated tiny screen that nobody seemingly wants. And then Apple just canceled the big screen version that people would actually buy. I mean, at this point, is Apple just going to kill the iPhone SE? Is that phone just going to disappear again? I doubt it, right? I don't 
don't think so. But I also feel like the best option is just the iPhone XR. Just bring that back for 500 bucks. That seems pretty reasonable. I feel like that I could do it, guys. Come on. You know, I own all the machinery. I know how businesses work. I, you know, could get in there and engineer it myself. No, I couldn't. I'm an absolute idiot, but I'm sure Apple could, which is why they should do the iPhone XR Mark II. Okay, that's all the news for today. Bad news for that. Great news for the Macs, though. Sounds like they're coming very soon. All right, I've been Sam with Apple Track. Hope you guys are doing well. Catch you in the next one. Peace.